Hi and welcome to this Tech Tip Tuesday video. My name is Naomi and I'm one of the M1 trainers here at ECI Solutions. Today we're going to look at scheduling, specifically the scheduling board. M1 has several tools to assist you with your scheduling and we're going to have a look at one of them and specifically the idea of scenarios. So when you're doing your scheduling, you're taking into consideration your shop floor, load, capacity, both as a whole and right down to the individual work centres and machines. Now, as you're working on your schedule, things change. You might have changes in the capacity of your work centres. You might have changes in what jobs are coming in and need to be done. And so you need to have the flexibility to be able to work with that and change accordingly. So M1 has the feature of scenarios. And by default, we start with the master scenario. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how to experiment or do other scenarios. So to start with, we're going to click on the copy button next to the scenario master. That's going to bring up our select scenario window. And you can see here that I've got a master and I've got trial. Now that's great. What I'm going to do is I am going to create a new version for me to have a play with an experiment. I'm going to click on copy. And I'm going to make it, I'm just going to call it October. And so I'm going to click on OK. And so now I'm going to click OK again. And you will see that I'm now looking at the October scenario. At which point I can change things around. For instance, maybe I'm going to move assembly to before packing. Maybe I'm going to do that. Let's cl click it and let it land. Click on OK. And let's just say that that's exactly where I want it to be. So I'm happy, I've had a look and I've played with the round and I've made this October scenario the way I want it to be. So now to update the master scenario, I click again on this copy and now I've got October selected. Now I'm going to click on update and it says I'm going to update the master schedule with the scenario October. Now I'm happy with it so I'm going to say yes. And I click back on master and click OK and now I'm going to be looking at the new revised master schedule. So it's simple as that. I can have a number of different scenarios running while I'm working out which one is best. And when I'm happy, I update it to being the new master and I can display the master. I hope you found that helpful and I look forward to you joining at a future Tech Tip Tuesday. Have a great night.